So Charles, um, Crossroads Missions, 100 Huntley Street, we've been working with you for over uh, 10 years now. Uh, some of the classrooms that the children study in and the medical center that they get health care in, those were built with the support of our viewers. So what does that support mean to you uh, as a ministry, Molly Children's Family? Indeed, I do not have enough words to express my, uh, my gratitude and appreciation to the uh, Crossroad Ministry through 100 Street. It has really done great, great things that we can uh, really imagine that every dollar that you have been over the last 10 years being able to donate from the people of this country, it has been reaching us and uh, we have been able to help the needy children in our country. And that's why we need to raise funds and support this, this uh, ride across Canada. And we're just uh, encouraging all our Crossroads uh, viewers, Huntley Street viewers, to, to donate money and to really help uh, keep these kids in the program and also allow Charles to rescue more that are, that are desperate. So thank you, Charles. I don't think we are in a position where a little <coughs> inconvenience, a little pain, a little bit of fluid, a little bit of health challenges allow us to take that option out and simply say, you know what, this is too hard, I'm just quitting because I don't, it's not my responsibility. I have no intentions of that. And so, <coughs> so to me, I, I intend to struggle on um, one day, two days, three days, basically whatever it takes to, to get to Halifax because that's the platform that I committed to this cause. And Arvid's been keeping up a grueling schedule, but it's been, the cause has been driving him on, and so we, we need to be praying for him. On the line now is our uh, Crossroads internship coordinator, and also coordinates our My View videos that Arvid's been doing on the road, and she's in Ottawa, Melissa McEachern. Uh, Melissa, um, we just have about a, a minute or so, but if you can just give us a quick summary from your, your point of view, what's, what's happening there? Well, as you saw there, Arvid is not giving up. And yesterday in Mattawa, um, he did need to take a little bit of a longer break, so he was off the bike for around 10 to 12 hours yesterday um, with some fluid retention, and he's been fighting the swelling in his legs since the Saskatchewan-Manitoba border, so he's really trying to push ahead, but felt that taking a bit of a longer break yesterday um, is only going to be helpful for him to move forward and reach the end goal, which is Halifax. And at this point... We're taking it hour by hour. Um, he is back on the bike right now. He's in Beset Creek, and he's been on the bike since uh, around 6 a.m. today. So he's pressing on, and even with taking the break um, yesterday, he still can make the Guinness World Record for being the fastest guy across Canada on a bike. And uh, myself and Charles Muller are here in Ottawa waiting to join up with the team. And um, I do have a challenge that Arvid, uh, Arvid is challenging people this morning. He's challenging grandpas who are watching today to raise $500 each before he gets to Halifax. So that's Arvid's challenge to grandpas today. You know, call your kids, call your grandkids, grandpas, and challenge them to join him and Charles Milley, and uh, grandpas can make a difference. All right, Melissa, thank you so much for that update. And uh, the number, just so you'll know how you can connect right away, is 1-800-265-3100. Or go onto crossroads.ca, the website. Click on Grandpa's Can. You'll see Arvid. You'll be able to track where he is. Uh, but you can also find out how you can give right online as well. We can uh, cheer him practically. Woo that's the biggest cheer.